Good afternoon, this is Simon Browning, and in this video we're going to demonstrate how to add blog entries to the uh, Live Sound or Audio Garage blog section on the Cosmo Music website, and these instructions apply to any of the blogs, whether it's the guitar blog, the drum blog, etc. So to add new entries, what I need to do is log into the back end, and I have another window here where I've got the back end, so I'm going to log in. I want to go into the back end actually and I'm going to log in and once I do that this is the welcome screen if I click on page I will see the page tree these are the pages we have access to so the first thing I see actually is a folder called live sound blog and these are where the blog entries are actually stored the rest are pages that we have access to we went through those on another video if I click on live sound blog now we've actually named it with list view in brackets it's going to tell us uh, this is a folder and you have to be in list view, switch to list view. So I can do that here or over there. Let's just do it there. So blog entries are actually entered in list view. And the reason for this is because they actually have text that shows up on multiple pages. So for example, on this page we have, we would have a listing, there's only one entry in there right now, but we would have a listing of the blog entries with a bit, little bit of text. On the right side we have a listing that shows even just the headline and a date and then if we actually go through to one of the blog entries we get the, the details for that blog entry so they're entered in the back end in list view and then the system works out how and where to show them so let's go back to the back end here to create a new blog entry all i need to do is actually i could edit one of the existing ones if i wanted to just by hitting the edit pencil in this case i'm not going to though i'm going to click on the new record button and we have a new item. So we can give it a title. This is the latest blog entry. And by default they're hidden, so I'm going to click unhide because I don't want it to be hidden. And then I can start putting my text. This is the content for the new blog entry. Have you seen the da 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 da? Let's just to fill in some text. Let's just do that a couple times. And then we have our standard editing controls like you'd have in a word processor or a word. So I can bold and I can underline and I can italicize, etc. And um, then what I'll do is save it. One note, if you don't see this hide button, there is this tick box at the bottom that says show secondary options. If I untick it, ooh, let me save first. If I untick this box, it actually gets rid of that hide button and it's kind of handy for it to be there. So if you don't see it, tick this box and you'll always see that hide button. And now that will stay on. It won't turn itself off again or anything. So now I saved it. I'm going to save and close actually. And so we're back here and now we have, we can see the our new one there called this is the latest blog entry. If I actually go and look at the website, let's go here and I do a refresh. Oh, I'm on the single view. Let me go back to the listing of blog entries you'll see that it hasn't shown up yet. And that's because we have workflow on the site and it actually needs to be approved first before it will show up. So the way to get it approved is to go back here and I need to click on versioning from the left menu. And I want to click on versioning and then I want to click on the folder called Live Sound Blog. And actually we're already there. And so we have a couple of columns, the live version. So that's what's on the live website. And you can see this is here, but it's hidden. That's the hide icon. And the workspace version is our new one. So to get it approved, what I need to do is I need to click under controls here, we're currently it's in editing mode, I want to say send to review. And then I can add a comment for the reviewer, I can say check out my blog entry, and then say OK. And the screen should update and it says now that it's in review. Now so the reviewer actually gets an email that says uh, Live Sound Editor has put in a new entry, um, check it out, and then they can either review, uh, approve or reject it. And so in my another screen here, I'm actually the reviewer, so I'm going to approve it. Publish. There we go. I'm actually going to publish it. And we're waiting here. And now if I go back to the website, actually if I refresh this screen here, it's gone now because it's been published. And if I go over here, it should be showing up. And there it is. There's our newest blog entry. So there you go. Uh, you, if the if the blog entry had been rejected, you would, get a, would have got an email that said it was rejected, and you can come back in and make whatever changes were requested. Thank you.